E23 came and went, and while we did get some fun Star Wars content, there will be undoubtedly people out there who will be disappointed with this year's event. In addition to announcing some new information on the upcoming Star Wars themed resort for the Disney parks, the two major Star Wars panels at D23 2017 were the Last Jedi panel and the Disney's Level Up Gaming panel which featured Battlefront 2. Starting off the Last Jedi panel, we got to see more set photos, special guest appearances, and a pretty cool behind the scenes reel. Ryan Johnson, the director of Episode 8, was on stage alongside newly inducted Disney legend Mark Hamill, Daisy Ridley, John Boyega, Gwendolyn Christie, and Kelly Mary Tran. Benicio Del Toro and Laura Dern also made guest appearances, which was their first appearance at a Disney and Star Wars convention since they had been first cast for The Last Jedi. We really didn't get anything juicy, mostly different shots and angles of scenes we had before seen in either the teaser trailer or a photo shown at Star Wars Celebration. Johnson once again shared black and white shots from the set and talked about hitting the pubs of Ridley. Boyega and Christy playfully faced off hinting that Finn and Captain Phasma will revisit some bad blood. And Mark Hamill receiving a standing ovation by just stepping on the stage. Of course, the main feature was the behind the scenes reel, whom myself, someone who's really interested in seeing how things are created, I really enjoyed seeing it. We also got to see a look of trans character Rose undercover in a First Order uniform with Finn, which was kind of meh moment for me, I don't know, seeing as we already saw that happen in Rogue One. As for the Battlefront 2 panel, both Janina Javankar and John Boyega were present and just talking about how much they're excited for the game's release in November, and again repeating some of the information we already knew from E3. A new Star Wars AR game was also teased, but we didn't really get to see much of that. The main meat and potatoes of the panel was also a behind the scenes reel, this time focusing on the creation behind the single player campaign for Battlefront 2. There were some new, never before seen shots of the single player campaign in there, which were great to see, especially Eden aboard the Rebel Cruiser. But other than that, not much else was showcased. I'm sure they're saving the rest, such as Space Combat, to show off at Gamescom later this year. Now, what we got was great, but I'm sure many people were expecting a little bit more. For example, there were plenty of rumors going on that Disney would announce an Obi Wan anthology film, and they were waiting until D23 to do it. Nope didn't happen. As for the upcoming Han Solo film, well, it was totally glossed over like it didn't even exist. Han Solo director Ron Howard wasn't at D23, nor was anybody from the cast. Not Aaron Reich, Donald Glover, or Woody Harrelson. Now granted, I'm sure this is because they're crazy busy in London right now reshooting almost the whole film, but still no official title for the Han Solo movie? Not even a picture of Aaron Reich in solo costume in the Millennium Falcon with Chewbacca? Is that really too much to ask at this point? I mean, it's kind of a big missed opportunity here, both for PR and for fan interest. It's clear that The Last Jedi is what Disney and Lucasfilm want us to only focus on now, and that's fine. But I wonder if D23 wasn't the perfect time for new Star Wars announcements. When will that exactly be? Anyways, that'll do it for me. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and if you did, give it a like and perhaps subscribe to stay up to date for everything Star Wars related. As always, I'll see you on the next one.